OK, in part nine, we're going to be looking at organ sounds. And here's the first one from a Korg M1 type sound. And then a whiter shade of pale. And finally, a dirty sort of blues organ. OK, segment number nine is looking at organ sounds. And of course, the most famous organ sound is the Hammond organ sound. And it's a form of additive synthesis. Uh, what I mean by that, in instead of taking um, waveforms that are rich in harmonics, we're taking very simple waveforms adding them together to create a new waveform. Um, and we're going to go back to the initial setting um, on the uh, Studio Logic Sledge and try and build up those um, sine waves. So the first thing to do is oscillator 1, 16 foot pitch, sine wave. Let's take out oscillators 2 and 3 and just listen to that sine wave. Very pure sound. OK, if you pull out the first three draw bars of a Hammond organ, the first uh, draw bar is 16 foot, the next draw bar is 5 and a third. What that actually means is it relates to this note here, a G. So we're going to get oscillator 2 to do that G. So we need a 8 foot pitch and 7 semitones. <laughs> We also need to put it onto a sine wave and adjust that there. Now if you notice I, I um, reduced the frequency modulation by oscillator 1 to 0 to, to create a pure sine wave so we're not getting any excess modulation. Um, I'll explain that in another segment. But uh, we also want to do uh, oscillator 3, sine wave and reduce any frequency modulation by oscillator 2 to 0, so we get the complete sine wave. OK, just to recap, we've got 16 foot oscillator 1, we need this pitch and we need this pitch. So um, oscillator 3 is going to do that one. And oscillator 2 is doing the one in between. So. So that's basically um, an organ type sound that you'd recognise um, as, as being a generic organ sound. Now the first sound that we're going to have a look at is based on that um, and it's the Korg M1 organ which is used in a lot of dance music. Now uh, rather than using a sine wave for that we're going to use um, a triangle waveform which is a, a bit richer in harmonics. And once I do this, you'll you'll be able to hear. There we are. There it's a brighter sound. Okay. And what we want on the Korg M1 sound is we need oscillator two to be higher in pitch. Now that's producing um, a harmonic which is a, a G note, which is higher up the keyboard. But we want that um, sound to disappear rather quickly, like that. Now, I'm adjusting the mixer here, but we can get the filter to do exactly the same job. So we're going to move over to the filter section now. OK, the first thing that we're going to do is alter the cutoff frequency to 66. Again, quite mellow. There's 66. Um, we don't need um, any resonance and we need the key track to be 91. We want it to, the filter to alter the, um, to follow, should I say, the keyboard up and down. Uh, don't need any drive. The filter envelope is crucial in this one. Attack time 0, decay 56, uh, sustain 0, release 0. Now. Once I introduce the filter amount, 
you'd be able to hear that higher harmonic um, percussively coming in and then disappearing again. So amount 28. There we are. And this gives us our um, Korg M1 sound. Let's just put a little, little bit of reverb in with that as well. Here we go then. And that's the Korg M1. Okay, the next sound that we're going to have a go at is a Hammond B3 sound, the whiter shade of pale kind of idea. And we're going to go back to the oscillators. So if you remember, we altered um, all of the oscillators 1, 2 and 3 to a triangle waveform. We're going to put it back to a sine wave because that's what happens on a Hammond uh, B3 organ. We want oscillator 2 back to 8 foot pitch and we've also got um, oscillator 3 at an 8 foot pitch as well. So that's a much more mellow sound. But we need to kind of dirty that up a little bit. So the first thing that we're going to do is we don't need any filter um, envelope applied to the filter at all, so that the amount would be zero. Um, what I need to do now is go to the filter section. OK, um, now we don't need any of the percussive sound uh, in the, the filter section at all. Um, in fact, the filter can be fully open and the amount reduced to zero. We're still getting a mellow sound because all of the oscillators are on sine waves, so it's still quite mellow. But we want to dirty that up a little bit. Uh, let's introduce some pink noise. Um, now the pink noise on its own sounds like that. It doesn't have many high frequency elements, it's got more of the lower frequency elements. Let's compare that to white noise. So you can hear the higher frequency elements there, and there's the pink noise, the lower frequency elements. We only need a little bit of that mixed in with the oscillators, and we only need about a value of 18. Let's put the other oscillators back in, and you can hear that sort of background hissy sort of sound, which introduces a bit of dirtiness. Um, we've also got a drive feature here, and we'll use a little bit of drive. And again, the more drive we use, the more high frequency elements come back in again. So, but we only need a little bit of that. And finally, um, in the Hammond um, organ, is always associated with a Leslie speaker. We haven't got a Leslie speaker, but we've got a chorus effect. And by judicious use of the chorus, we can create some of the flavour of a slow-moving Leslie. So chorus, rate 25, which is fairly slow, and depth 32. OK, here's our whiter shade of pale. Okay, now we're going to produce, we're going to use that as a, a basis of the sound, uh, but produce a dirty, bluesy B3 sound. There's a, several ways to do that. Um, the first way is, um, I hope we might be able to see me adjusting oscillator 3 to 4 foot. So that's going to be, you can hear the difference there, um, a higher frequency element. and. We're also, let's move over to the oscillators just so I can show you that better. So we're going to use oscillator 3 at a higher pitch, then we have a 4 foot pitch, and we, we're going to be using something called frequency modulation by oscillator 1. Let's just hear the effect of that as I play a note and turn it up. Now that's introducing um, a frequency modulation by oscillator 1, it, it 
the, the audible effect of that is to in, increase um, harmonics of, at a certain uh, level. And what we need for that is we need 46 to produce the sound we need. OK, there we go. So all the oscillators are set. We just need to move back to the filter. Now, if you put um, any kind of sound through a guitar amplifier, um, you're not going to get a hi-fi sound. You're going to get something that's a bit more middly. And in the filter section, we can adjust uh, the filter to be either low pass, high pass, or band pass. If we use the band pass and adjust the cutoff frequency to 64, there we are. Let's switch this to band pass. There's high pass, there's band pass. Um, it gets rid of um, some of the lower frequency elements and some of the higher frequency elements and just leaves the middle frequency elements. And to emphasize that a little bit, uh, we're going to use a resonance. And again, it'll emphasize some of the harmonics. There we are. Uh, we're also going to introduce drive. Pink noise is going to rise again to about 26. So we're, we're kind of destroying the, the nice pure sound by kind of making it dirtier. Uh, and we're going to even introduce a bit more drive. Um, let's also make the chorus unit um, emulate a fast Leslie. So uh, the depth control will be 42, a bit more depth, and a bit more speed. Right, to 83. So now we're getting a dirty uh, B3 type sound.